today is gonna be a fabulous day. When you wake up and you can just tell that that day is gonna be a good day. Are you snoring? Yes? Are you snoring? <laughs> kind of good? No? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Do you wanna go down? Do you wanna go on the sofa? There you go. Right. I will tell you the reasons, not that you asked, why today is gonna to be a great day. First of all, I woke up on the right side of the bed. I still feel tired. I didn't feel like that today. I've had the right amount of sleep. I had my dreams that I remembered. I had a really weird dream actually last night. Really strange. I wish I knew what dreams meant, but I think it just means your subconscious is talking. <laughs> I think it's literally that. But the postman literally just came with my revolve order. I'm on a bit of a rampage at the moment with Revolve. This isn't affiliated with them in any way, but ooh, I just like summer clothes. It's where I thrive and I saw this swimsuit on sale and then I saw this swimsuit that I wanted, which is on sale and reversible. So I was like, okay, I'm getting two in one. And then I was like, one, two, three, four, five, six, six other things. So I'm gonna go through that today. That just literally landed on my desk. I have a couple of things that I want to get done. I'm having a bit of a enjoying the moment vibe because I'll be honest, normally every August, this industry goes quite quiet and I lose my mind <laughs> because I'm like, oh my gosh, and I have a life crisis, but I'm actually trying to enjoy the quieter times. Like the other day, I just went out with a walk and my podcast. And normally if I go on a walk or if I walk, do you come kind of like sending voice notes to people about work things or I'm replying to emails or replying to comments or something. And I was just like, let's just enjoy this semi sunny weather that London has right now. Before we get started, I have some news of the day. And this is actually really exciting for me because I rarely work with fragrances because I have such particular fragrance taste and style. As you guys know, I have loved the same fragrances for years and years and years. And for me to really fall in love with a fragrance takes a lot. So this is a fragrance that I'm so excited to partner with because as I just said, it really takes a lot for me to seriously fall in love with a fragrance. And I would say that this is now one of my top fragrances Ever. I would say it's in my top three and my other two in my top three are fragrances that I've loved for six or seven years and I've been trying this out for I think almost six weeks. So that is fast for this to go to the top of my list. This is the new fragrance from Lancome. It is Lancome Idole. First of all, look at this packaging. It's such sleek, cool, really different packaging for Lancome as well, I think. The things to note about this bottle is that it is refillable. You know what? It is such a beautiful, beautiful scent. And I try and describe scents, but the best way I can get you to fall in love with it like I fall in love with it is when you pass the Lancome counter, just spray it on you and walk around that day and see how you feel when you wear it. That for me is such a big part of fragrance. This fragrance for me just makes me feel confident, makes me feel empowered. It makes me feel really womanly as well. And also actually really sophisticated. Like even just spraying that just now, I feel like all of a sudden I'm just sitting taller and I feel more confident. I can't describe how this fragrance makes me feel any better than that. I have been wearing this nonstop since I went to their launch party in Paris. And I did vlog when I was there. That was ooh, maybe six weeks ago, I think. And I'll put that in in a second so you can see what I got up to in Paris. But I will leave a link to it down below. They have a little mini size. So if you want to try, they have a little handbag size. If you want to try it out, that would be what I would recommend you order and just try it and see if you like it. I think fragrance is so, so, so personal. But if you like the fragrances like me that I normally like and talk about, then you will definitely, definitely like this. So I'm gonna rewind now to when we went to Paris and you can see what we got up to for the launch of Lancome Idol. Good morning. I'm in a very chirpy mood this morning. We are off to Paris. Woo! <laughs> I feel mad. Woo! Woo! You have to do the peace sign. Woo! And then she moves them around like little bunnies. Like, Woo! <laughs> anyway, this morning 
we're going to Paris. I have a bag full of snacks here and like it's really bursting to the brim. Peanut butter Florentines, I have oat cakes, I have, oh I had another snack somewhere, like a date bar thing. I mean I really should organize this bag at some point before we get on the train. I have a giant bag, as always. I pretended to Pia like I was gonna take a normal size bag and then she was like, did you really? And I was like, no, no. no I was never, I was never going to. I was never gonna have it. I think I wore like five dresses for, for one night. Um, <laughs> but gotta have options, you know? Like sometimes you put on a dress and you don't know what you wanna wear that day. I'm, I'm definitely to getting in to be to like watch. more you. Because I options? brought options and I didn't. Did you? I don't, like, you know how I, I would literally just pack like one. One option. One option, <laughs> then I'm done. And now I'm not like that anymore. It's I'm nice like, to have options. Oh, but now I don't know which cream I want to use. So I'm going to bring like five. <laughs> oh, wow, not even with clothes. You do it with. <laughs> with I know, I do it well. more with like my beauty stuff. <laughs> like, if I show you the bag, it'll probably mm -hmm. be more than yours. My yeah. beauty would be more and your clothes would be more. That's a really good prediction and very, very true. <laughs> your nails are really pissing me off. Your nails are so cool, I forgot to tell you when you were telling me the story. Really? I was gonna tap on your nails instead of on the screen. <laughs> How you cool are they? Your nails are pissing me off so much, you know when you really need to do them. But this one actually, it's a Maybelline one, it lasts like so, so, so well. Big suitcase, mini suitcase. <laughs> Outfit of the day. Outfit of the day, ready to go to sunny Paris. So we have this, white denim jacket on, which I got from my Teresa and I love, I love white as you know. Hold on, let me just take it off here. So this dress is a Zimmerman dupe. I have the Zimmerman one and I prefer this because it's just much softer material wise and it's much easier. Where yeah. it has a little and cut out here. Real, my own little tummy, and I actually really want to wear some other clothes, so I think I might do that literally on the train right now. Got my Ray Ban bra, which I also got from my Teresa, and I have the best birthday present for my mum on my feet, which are the cutest shoes ever. Look how cute they are! I like little princess shoes. Aren't they adorable? I love them so much. And then I have my Prada store bag, which is full. Snacks. <laughs> it's literally like the snacks just pouring out huh? and my suitcase and now we're ready to go. It's just so nice outside. Ladies and gents, it is 26 degrees in Paris. Is it? Yeah. I just last night it's really warm. It's gone up too already. It's gone up. It's gone up. It's rising. Temperature is rising. Awesome. Wait, what's that song? Temperature's rising. <laughs> Morale is getting low. According to all sources. The streets, the place to go. Cause the night for the first time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is gonna be very pleasant. This weather. Ah. Bienvenue à Paris! Bienvenue à Paris! We're here, ready to rock and roll. Let's put my collar down. There we go. I think we're going straight to our hotel. I think that's the plan. Hello, beautiful Paris! I have just got to my room. Well, not just, but we actually got in quite late. So I was quickly getting ready, doing my makeup. And I want to show you my dress because it's actually so cute. It's really big for me in the boob boobal area, but. I hadn't tried it on yet, so I'm just gonna have to cope, but I want to give you the quickest room tour ever. We're staying at the Royal Monceau, I want to say. Um, and it's this is hands down one of the coolest rooms I have ever been to, and I haven't even opened the Lancome goodie bags here because I've just been like manic getting ready, and I'm supposed to be downstairs in one minute, so I'm gonna do a quick room tour. So this is where you enter the room. I have some little fun things over here like cute little look how happy these strawberries look and some chocolates which i have refrained from eating by some miracle look at this bed oh it's ready for me tonight i'm so excited and then out here we have a little courtyard which is so parisian and i can hear everyone downstairs like having drinks which just makes it more exciting here is my wardrobe which I obviously tried on. Guys, I tried on like eight dresses for tonight already. <laughs> How bad is that? I bought so many things and none. This one was definitely like the most formal and I feel like it's gonna be quite a cool party. So I think I'll just hide the bigness of the top part with my hair and then call it a day. But look at this. 
bathroom. How cool is that? This bathtub is like, it's like a jacuzzi. I've never seen anything like this. And then we have like two vanity sinks. Look at this shower. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. Toilet, by the way, okay, watch this. Are you ready? I walk into the bathroom. Oh, I did it last time. Last time the seat just went up automatically when I came into the bathroom. Oh, okay, that was a fail. Oh, there! Oh, it just registered me! How crazy is that? It just opens when you go into the loo. Okay, I haven't actually decided what earrings to wear. So what do you think? Should I wear pearl or normal? Pearl I or think normal. pearl. Yeah, you think so? I was wearing yeah. pearl before and then I changed. Maybe I'll change back. <laughs> I think I prefer <laughs> them. But let me show you the rest of my outfit because I have my little hairslide, my Mila Liana hairslide on. I've got my Chanel bag, this dress which I just got from Revolve. I'm gonna kind of hide how big it is on top here and just hope my boobs don't fall out or something. Don't think they will, they're in a bra. <laughs> and my bag, which I need to put something in because it's literally dead empty right now. And I'm just like rushing to show you my outfit. Mm -hmm. And I have my most favorite comfortable heels. I still, I have two bruised, giant bruises on my knees from this weekend. I don't know <laughs> how. I think like when Liv and Henry were dancing, I kept being like getting on my knees and like clapping with all the boys. I didn't fall over. But I think that was why I have bruises because I was like on my knees. Or, oh, no, I was on my knees helping her pee as well. I was on my knees quite a bit this weekend. That sounds dodgy. <laughs> it's not. I was on my knees for dancing and dress purposes. Okay. <laughs> Before we go downstairs, I'm just going to do a little bit of perfume with the new Lancome fragrance. Look at this bottle. It's so thin. It's like a little piece of gold. It's incredible. I was kind of like, how do I spray this? How do I spray this? And then realized it is a lid. There you go. <laughs> this fragrance has been 10 years in the making. It's the new Lancome Idole. Oh, it smells so good. I'm already wearing it, but just for the purposes of pretending like there's scent through the vlog, I just wanted to spray it again. Oh, Pia, doesn't it smell so good? It literally, the moment you smelled it, I could automatically Oh my smell gosh, it. it's so good. It's nice and like, it's fresh. It is it's really fresh. Mm. Airy, light, really elegant. Parisian. It is actually really Parisian, yeah. isn't it? It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. So I think we're ready to go downstairs now. I've just put on a little bit of lipstick, this, which I love. This is L'Absolue Mademoiselle Shine, and this is 232. It's like a glossy nude, as you can see. It makes your lips nice and plump and juicy, and it's really balmy as well. This is where we've come for dinner. It is called Il. I want to say Carpaccio, but it's Carpaccio, but it's not like Carpaccio, like the thing you eat, I don't think. Just walking up these little stairs here, and in here is where we are all eating dinner. Look at this chandelier, it's made of shells. Isn't that so cool? Look yeah. at it, I love it. I want this in my house. It looks like an octopus, like legs, but made of shells. Pia has a little bit of a tiramisu reinterpretation. Interpretation. Interesting, but I think I win actually. I have this little yeah, fruit crown cake. You, you, you can share it, it's huge. I really just love the Vicks bag. I don't know what to do with my life. It's so beautiful. I think I need it. It's just so pretty. Oh. Isn't it? Something so beautiful. It's like a, it's a piece of art. You know, some people are into art. This is my art. <laughs> Shocker. Going in to the Lancome party. Bonsoir. Look how incredible this looks. Everything is pink. This is so cool. This is incredible. Summer comes around, are you down, are you down again? Touch down at the ground, it's hot. Do you remember how it all began? Tree. London, Paris part of the vlog is done though, and ooh, oh my god, this is cute. I'm so excited about my revolve order. Oh, 
this is cute this is a nicholas swimsuit and it has a little belt i thought the belt would be great because i don't really have a waist so i thought this could maybe accentuate my waist a little bit help in that department would be great okay tell me what you think about this one because i quite like this belt i feel like it cinches me in a little bit maybe i put it on a bit too high but the color is a bit bright for me and also the other thing is can you see that gape at the back if i put my shoulder up like that it works but because I'm quite short, torso wise, let me know what you think. I think this is a bit more of a posy swimsuit than an actual swimming swimsuit, but I'm okay with that. I like to pose, right? Anyway, I was gonna show you this swimsuit really briefly. I'll maybe do a proper revolve ball, but it's actually reversible. So you can properly reverse it onto the other side is white. And then this is like a pinky and a white, which I thought was really cute, actually. And then, you know, shopaholic mentality, two in one sort of thing. Random interlude question. Do you guys prefer when I show you these in the bathroom, like more sort of close up or in my proper full length mirror? Let me know. I'm just kind of curious. Today I'm just in here, so it just made sense to come into the bathroom. Anyway, this swimsuit is a winner. Look at it. I love this crossover. I like swimsuits that look like outfits. Do you know what I mean? I'm not into the whole like skimpy nipple cover type thing. I like them to look like I could be wearing an outfit, which this does exactly. This is so flattering in all the right places. I don't even know what brand this is. Kaya Swim is what it's called, K-Y-A. I'll leave a link to it down below, but oh, I love this. And if you look at the back, it's cut out here and it has little bows at the back. Oh, I got a cool wild fox jumper. You might have noticed on my Instagram stories, I am switching it up in the clothing department. Not too much. I'm into trainers right now. My Axel trainers that I bought recently in my My Teresa haul, you will have seen. I'm just wearing them every day with my cute little dresses. And I feel like me, but I feel less lame than when I wear heels. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like more casual and I can go anywhere. Like last night I went somewhere and everyone was in heels and I was just in my trainers and I was hands down the shortest person there but I just love wearing my trainers. I'm going through a phase. Going through a trainers phase. <laughs> that even counted as, as a phase. Ooh, this is a cute little jumper, isn't it? Sorry, those are Hannah's wakeboarding clothes. <laughs> she went wake surfing this weekend. So ignore those while they're drying. But I have something very crucial to say about baggy cozy jumpers. I always look for ones that go in at the bottom because if they go out like that, it just isn't a flattering vibe as if they go in. Do you see what I mean by that? That gives me that cut there and brings everything in at my, is that my hips? Yeah, my hips. <laughs> Do you see what I mean by that? It's hard to explain until you actually see it on you. I like this little snug situation. This is gonna be a good one. I am definitely keeping this. Oh, it, I find it quite rare when I find jumpers that I love that I still feel cool in and not just like sloppy. And I feel like this is gonna be one of those. Let's see what else I order. Oh, I also, I mean, I just wanted something that I could throw on in this heat that wasn't like a tiny little skimpy dress. I actually got, I went on their best sellers and I saw this t-shirt dress oh it looks more like a t-shirt than a t-shirt dress is that a dress is that a dress we'll have to wait and see <laughs> but it has a bit of an open back which is quite cool and i thought maybe i could wear it with a belt but maybe not because it's so short and that would make it shorter we'll have to see not much to say about the t-shirt dress to be honest however it is a good length so i definitely definitely could wear a belt with it apart from that think it's a winner. The open back, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it kind of overlaps on itself. So it's not as open as it actually looks when it's off your body, if that makes sense. And then, what is this? This is a zip up jumper dress, basically. I thought this would actually be great for traveling when I'm going away because I could wear a little skimpy sort of like cami dress thing underneath, wear this on the plane, stay warm, and then, ooh, that inside. You know when you open up a new jumper and it's a little sort of snuggly. Ah, what were we saying? 
God, it's so snug in here. Snug, snug, snug. This is gonna be me on the plane, just like being snug in my little hoodie dress. I've always wanted a hoodie dress. I used to buy hoodies when I was younger in like a size extra large so that they would look like a dress. It just feels really snug and I feel like this is perfect for traveling in the summer when I get so cold on the plane and then I have a little skimpy dress underneath so when I land and it's boiling hot and you literally get off the plane and start sweating buckets, I can just take this off and then on the plane I'm like, mm, snug. I like the zip front. If you wanted to be a bit sexy, risque, you could, could lower it. <laughs> That's not me, we all know that, okay. <laughs> Good morning, it is dance workout morning this morning. It's such a grim day, look outside. Ugh, grim, grim. By the way, grim is my new favorite word. I say it all the time. Like when something is like just not okay, it's grim. Like everything is just, it's a good word. Just get on board with the grim. It just summarizes so much in four letters. Oh, am I gonna make this green light? Yes, I am. Oh. I'm really excited. We go for dance workouts. Sometimes Liv comes with me. I don't know who we is. It's we is me, myself and I. It's just the most fun. Like I love high intensity workouts. Like they're kind of my favorite. And something that like, I don't need to think. Like my brain is occupied because I'm thinking about the steps and the movements and stuff. My brain is like fully occupied. So it's like a great distraction as well. I love it. I feel like it just engages a different part of my brain. And I get my cardio in and it's just it's just fun. I just love dancing as well. Good morning, are you ready to dance? I'm so excited actually. Oh, oh it's horrible oh, to be in these people. Horrible today. Horrible. Maybe that means things for France. It's horrible. Horrible. Okay. Dance. I'm still so sore from training the other day. Okay, I literally have felt, I did three exercises with Liv's trainer and I felt my bum for three days. I don't know what she did to me. <laughs> I literally did three exercises. My bum what is still sore. What did you do? Sore. Just squat. Literally squat. Yeah, wait. I, I'm fit, but I'm not strong. I, I can't get do strong. any of that stuff. Okay, let's dance. Ready? Keep rock and roll. Outfit of the day, an aloe hat on. I have this bra, which I literally just found in my cupboard. It looks like a swimsuit. I'm not actually sure what it's from. I'll look at the label and link it down below. And these Lululemon leggings. And Liv is wearing full sweaty Betty. I'm ready. Let's do this. didn't work and either guy was away or I was away or Jack was away or someone was away and it just wasn't working and then yesterday both all three of us were like let's go for dinner tomorrow and I was like okay if all three of us can make it to dinner tomorrow then that means this surprise dinner has to be tomorrow because then I'm away then guy's away then Jack's away then he actually leaves to go to Switzerland so I basically it is 12 30 p.m. on Wednesday and I am planning this surprise dinner for tonight. So I've got everyone in. I've told everyone to cancel their plans. Only one person had actual plans. Everyone else was like, oh, we're seeing each other. I was like, okay, fine, great. Everyone is in for this dinner. Except Jack is like MIA. I don't know where he is. He's in a meeting. I'm like, hello, we have important things to discuss. And I need to actually book a table for eight tonight. So hopefully because it's August and like less people are in London, then we might be able to get a table. So Guy has booked dinner for us at Nobu. So I'm thinking 
ideally I don't want to change the reservation and then he might get suspicious. So I'll just be like, yeah, yeah, see you there and tell everyone to come half an hour before. And then surprise! Okay, let me see. Hello, could I book a table for seven for this evening, please? I think it's seven. Seven, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, we're all booked. We're booked. Tonight, I found our guy's reservation he made was at 8, so I booked it for 7.30, so that everyone comes at 7.30, then he comes in at 8, and I just figured everyone's gonna be late, and then, you know, parking, rain, traffic, I don't know. Ah! I've never planned a surprise for someone before, let alone a surprise on the same day as the actual surprise. <laughs> so, let's see how this goes. This could be a total disaster, but I hope not. Anyway, he's the kind of person that appreciates the gesture, so I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Back in the car, as I am quickly showered and whatever, and now I'm going to a meeting. I actually just had a lymphatic drainage massage, which I've never had before. Apparently they're supposed to be really good for bloating and stuff, and water retention and that kind of thing. And I keep seeing people I follow on Instagram have them and post like incredible before and afters. I didn't take any before and after pictures of myself. I definitely feel lighter in my stomach. I feel like all that moving around my organs <laughs> definitely helped with digestion maybe. I do feel like lighter, but I haven't noticed a big difference yet. I'll keep it posted. She told me to keep drinking for a while. So we're gonna do that. Quickly have a meeting now. Then I'm gonna go back and I need to get a card for Guy, like a leaving card. And I will see you in my meeting. This is not the day for my umbrella to break. No, no, no. Oh no. Ah, I just stepped in a puddle. Oh my god, this is a freaking disaster. This is a disaster. Where is this? office what number are we this is where we are waiting for our meeting in this very snazzy room my legs are soaking my bag is ruined did i and you look very stylish dolly that was a quick turnaround oh hello <laughs> oh my poor bag oh r.i.p to the leather we can fix that got my shoes totally ruined and Grim, it's so sad. Look at this weather outside. It doesn't look that bad now. It, no, it doesn't look that bad, but it's absolutely horrific. And this is my brand new umbrella that is ruined and doesn't even go out properly. Right, I'm running a little bit late. Well, actually, I'm running early late. Like I said I was gonna get there 15 minutes before everyone else and now I think I'll get there like five minutes before everyone else, so that's not really late, is it? But anyway, I wanted to show you my outfit before uh, we left. Sorry, my necklace is a bit tangled. Here, there we go. I just did my hair. It was a bit rained on after my meeting. I had a meeting with Fenty Beauty just now and a couple other brands and I want to try this lip gloss I just put on my lip liner. But I'm wearing this dress which I recently got from Revolve which is really cute. I'm really into trainers at the moment. I, as you know, I'm not normally a trainers girl but these Axel Arigato ones I just cannot stop wearing and I'm also wearing this amazing bag from Bilberry which is a Selfridges exclusive. I'll link it down below. They have a couple others as well but it's just so cool. I feel like my outfit was boring and then I put on this bag and then it's like less boring. <laughs> anyway let me get out my lip gloss that I just got. This is it. Fenty Beauty. What is this called? Fussy. Let's try this. Ooh. Oh my god. Gloss. Next level gloss. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Ugh, I love the look of lip gloss. I feel like it does brighten up your face when you need it. On the way, and this is the card I got to Guy from all of us. He always says Cheerio, and he'll be like, Cheerio, chap, or Cheerio, little bean. It's like kind of a joke. Oh, sorry, it's gone. It's a bit jerky. I didn't like this one that said, You're dead to us, so I put, You're not dead to us. That was a bit mean. <laughs> and this one, some of us will miss you. I might change that to all of us will miss you. And the other ones I think are cute. <laughs> this one I'll keep. You'll never make new friends. I obviously haven't really thought about him actually moving countries. Like, I've obviously thought about it, but you know when you don't want to think about something because it's like such a big thing, like such a big change. I'm so used to him like always being around and I was like, always being the dinners and stuff. It's so weird. Wonder if like, I don't know. I feel like half of me is like, oh my god, this is such a big change, and the other half is like, I think he might come back every weekend. 
<laughs> said I set the bar too high. Look at my giant paragraph. You have to um, write something funny. <laughs> The guy, I've told him I'm around the corner and to meet me outside. Oh, stress. I just put on my coat and my bag and I'm waiting in the lobby for Guy. I told him I was having a drink at the hotel next door and I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I've never done school. <laughs> Don't know what to do. <sighs> I was like, cool, I'll meet you downstairs. So then I can take him to the table without him realizing the table's for eight people. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, love you. To Cheers to Bo. Big Bo. <laughs> Cheers. Taking my arms out the sleeves so I can really, you know, get in there with my cleanser. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. We um, sat by this table when we got there. And you can kind of like, it has like a glass screen by it, and guys was like, that looks like Jack. And I was just like, no, no, no. But luckily, it was like right at the top of the stairs. So as soon as he realized it was Jack, we like turned the corner, and everyone was there. And it was really cute, it was really fun. They're like some of my favorite dinners, these dinners, because. We just laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> Everyone always gets very unamused when I take off my makeup like this. <laughs> it's just the quickest way to get all that mascara off, you know? Anyway, today was a very productive day. Planned a surprise party in a day. No, not even in a day. In seven hours. <laughs> Worked out. Went to some meetings. Jet all in all. A generally good day and I am fully in the swing at the moment of doing my sorry I'm hunching over because I feel like the camera's a little bit right too much. I am fully in the swing of doing my five minute journal right now. So I have been doing that before I go to bed. Even the nose of Mykonos absolutely not sober. I still did my five minute journal. I've been doing it for like two months now every day so i'm gonna do that when i get into bed i have my little bedtime ritual maybe i should do this in a video Ooh, let me know what videos you want to see from me that's a good question but i basically like i have my little nice room spray i put in a famous video recently and i just like spritz it and it feels like a little spa and then i lie down then i do my journal then i sometimes do some meditation and then i'm like ah oh, bed it's so nice i mean obviously after i've taken off the layers of makeup that is on my face like I'm doing right now, kind of like mascara I can get off. I mean, no matter how much time I spend taking on my mascara, I still feel like it's just always there, do you know what I mean? Uh, but I have to say the Be Fair Seal, which is what I'm using, like a mini travel version, does take off the best. There we go. That's all gone, isn't it? I think, yeah. Gone, gone. Fucking waterproof mascara made my life. Okay, so that is gonna be it for me and this vlog. And I will see you next week for another video. If you wanna catch up with me in the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram. And I will see you over there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say bye now. Mwah. Bye guys. <laughs>